Good morning on a very wet Wednesday in Christchurch, New Zealand. I'm Rochelle. I am about to do a bit of a workout. I'm actually going to start with some weights workouts, um, which I'm basically just making up as I go along. I am not a personal trainer or anything along those lines, um, but I do know that I need to get some more muscle work done, so basically strength training, and we bought ourselves a convertible weight set for Christmas, and this is the second time I'm using it, I think, so we'll give it a go. I've basically got a couple of movements in mind. I'm going to be doing squats with the weights across my shoulders, um, and I'm also going to be doing a compound movement, which is basically a um, basic picking, picking the weights up and going up into a um, um, sort of shoulder press type thing. So, yeah, we shall see how we go. I am not dressed for working out. I haven't worn my, much in the way of dresses this this year, and I really want to. So, these are my weights. I've currently got. 8.5 kilos plus the bar, um, so not quite a bag of spuds, but pretty close. So, got it over on the shoulders, feet apart, toes pointing forwards, and basically concentrating on the butt. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I didn't do any, well, I did. The next exercise I'm going to be doing I did yesterday. Um, I also did a fair bit of walking because so I had to take the car in to get the window screen winder replaced, get the new one fitted. So I basically spent an hour walking. So, I, so down on the floor. So. Compound movement. Two. Three. Four. Five. Seven, eight, they're undoing themselves. Definitely not as good as proper ones, but at the same time, for the real deal, it would have cost me a hell of a lot more. And if it turns out we use these all the time, then it's probably worth investing in the real deal. Um, once we work out where the hell we'd store them. So I'm just gonna grab some free weights. There's a couple more exercises I want to do. So I've got 3kg hand weights. I probably don't need both of them. So 
tricep kickback. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So cardio today is going to be on the rowing machine. I'm not going to be showing you guys that. Um, I don't really think you want to see that. I am also going to do some bicep curls with the bar weight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. <sighs> okay, that's pretty much to failure. So, I I don't know about you guys, but I could hear my shoulder busy going clonk through that. So I can tell I'm actually doing something because I'm getting a bit puffed. I'm going to do another lot of squats. I've just got to be careful getting this up here because I've got my hair in a claw. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I am keeping my back straight. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, definitely doing it to failure, or pretty close to it. Um, I am heavier again. Those blooming Queen Anne chocolates. There's a special deal. With free shipping if you spent over $70. So of course that's what I did. Um, it probably doesn't help that my bowels have still not settled from the colonoscopy. So um when I'm not feeling 100%, I tend to be more prone to giving in to the, basically the sugar cravings. And that's exactly what I did. The worst part is that I need to take probiotics to help fix the issue because of course colonoscopy upsets all the bugs in your gut. But I can only take them for, at the most, another week. Because I've got the, the SIBO, or small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, breast testing coming up. In a little under a month. And, um, yeah, there are limits on how long you're allowed to take probiotics beforehand. And I suspect that the reason that they have a gap of at least a month between the colonoscopy and the breath testing is because they're aware that the colonoscopy upsets the heck out of your gut bacteria. So this time I'm just doing it close to failure. I have no idea how many this will take. Oh, 
Oh, pardon me. I wanted to get that out while I was actually standing up. Because I do have a little bit of good and I really don't want to be crouched over with pressure on my abdomen when I burp. So I haven't actually done a core specific move. Um, I will be using, I'll show it to you. This, so basically this goes on under my clothes obviously, directly against the skin and works on basically electro stimulation to this group of muscles here. Um, I don't know how well it'll go. It's a cheap one from AliExpress. Um, I've got one of the ones with the pads, but the problem with those ones is that the pads were, do wear out. So I thought that one was probably a good alternative. Um, I'm hoping it'll help. Um, I will, of course, I mean, with the exercises I'm doing here, I am getting some core workout anyway because you have to stabilise in order not to damage your back and I am stabilising the heck out of my back because I do not want to damage it. Um, add to that, I will probably also do some sit-ups on the bench out there, which I won't show you but I will be doing them. And of course the rowing machine also does do some work on well, everything pretty much. Three, four, five, six, seven. This is using the abs. Eight, nine, ten. That's it for that for today. So, we have worked out the butt, the legs, the abs through the bracing, shoulders, we're doing the one up there, biceps and triceps, and of course, forearm does a certain amount of stabilizing as well. So, with those few exercises, I have actually worked most things. I can definitely tell I've done a workout because I am puffed and I am sweating. Um, I will still do the other stuff later, but I'm not going to be doing it right this minute. Um, I need to drink. I will do, before I have my drink, I will do my sit-ups because I can do the sit-ups on this guy here. I cannot do sit-ups at the moment um, on the floor. It's just not something I can manage. So I'll get those done and then that will be it. Um, 
I've got to get shoes on to be able to use the rowing machine because my feet don't stay put in the stirrup things that they've got on it. And it's one thing I actually need to look at seeing if I can replace the setup they've got there because it's a Velcro thing, but it's it's set up for wearing like big sports shoes. And of course, I don't wear those anymore. Uh, I've still got a couple of pair running around, so I may just have to grab some out of the cupboard and wear them just for that until I get round to replacing the Velcro on it. So that is it from me today. Um, if you like my content, please like and subscribe. I won't be posting tomorrow. Tomorrow I have got groceries, um, so I'll be doing that. But I will probably be posting on Friday, New Zealand time of course, so that'll be Thursday if you're in the States. Uh, not on the weekend, usual reasons. Uh, weekend is incredibly busy this time round. So, um, yeah, lots to do here. Depending on how this storm plays out, may have work to do in the garden. So, thank you for watching and we will see you next time. Bye.